So just pause the video as I go through the build and I just hover over all the stuff I'm using. If I try to give it some time as I hover over my sensors and modules and stuff, but if you need to pause it as I rant about the build, then just go ahead and do that and I explain it. But this is basically a super tank Lepic build and a super cool down Lepic build. So the damage is definitely not that great. And it will take you ages to take down any Colossus. Although the good news for you is that at least this build can kill Colossus. <laughs> I've already soloed all of the soloable Colossus's Colossi, obviously, on this build. Just to confirm that he can beat them. And he can beat them, it just takes a pretty penny. And some of the fights, it takes them even longer to kill them than my Ajax super tank build. <laughs> Mostly because Ajax, it's easier for the Colossus for him to do even more damage because he basically, well, he's so tanky that he can just straight up face tank them, which allows him to just unload his tamer in them the entire time and then put up a reflect barrier, which also reflects damage. Whereas Lepic, I mean, only his ultimate is really useful in, in those fights. Which is why you have the DPS Lepic build that's just built around solely the damage of his ultimate so he can one-shot the Colossus fights. Which I do want to make that build. Just so you know, I'm not, I'm not ignoring that build. It's just I really wanted to make a build that was more fun for me that I can use everywhere and, because, and that fits my playstyle, which is still playing as a tanky character typically. But, at, but they already confirmed they're going to have loadouts for Descendants, so when they do, I will absolutely add another setting to this, to my ultimate Lepig that is just straight Colossus killing, pretty much, so they can just kill them in a few seconds too. And I'll just switch to that whenever I use them for Colossus, because Lepig is one of the best Descendants for damage, actually, for Colossus, for boss fights. I will say that build sucks everywhere else, though. That's why I don't use it. And it would suck in the infiltration operations, not just because it's so frail that a slight breeze would kill it, but also it has such a high cooldown on its skills because it, it, it you can't even go into cooldown on it because you need as much damage as you can, which means the bosses, as you saw in the infiltration operations, they have different phases. So if you use your ultimate then, then you're not going to be able to use it the rest of the fight with the boss. <laughs> so you absolutely don't want to use that Lepic build. That Lepic build you're thinking of is only good for Colossus, and that's it. But I do want to make it. Anyway, last thing's up. So this is just a fun build to just spam on. I generally never run out of man mana because of how it's built. But I do, I do sometimes because it's not fully mana built because I, I sacrifice some of that to ensure he's also a super tank. That's why I have HP collector instead of MP collector. I will say in the final wave of special operations fights, you can, have, you can add another setting and switch HP Collector to MP Collector just for those fights, I'd say, because that's when it's kind of worth it. Because there's so many enemies for you to kill, really, with your AoE potential that you'll be recovering your mana from MP Collector really well so that you can just keep it on forever, probably, in that fight, and that'll actually make it even easier for you. But other than that, I prefer HP Collector, especially in the infiltration fights, because I want that extra tankiness. And because, especially if you saw in the boss fights, there's a lot of instances where my mana will recover on its own, and that's when recovering combats and out of combat is so good, and the recovery stat module is so good. Now, the last thing I really want to get is get skill duration on my reactor you saw, because... Just a slight duration. I only need a slight duration increase because if you've noticed, that will guarantee I get an extra hit on my ultimate. That's why I want a duration buff.